It's this fear of discomfort. People have this extreme feeling in their mind uh, when it comes to their associations with exercise. They want to avoid discomfort. They feel like any type of exercise is just like something to be avoided. That's not for me. Fuck that. I don't want to sweat. I don't want to strain. And a lot of times this association that they have is about the beginnings of getting in shape. It's not about once you're actually fit. Because once you're actually fit, exercise is something you look forward to. It's an alleviation of stress. It's, it feels great. Like, if I can't get a workout in, I'll, I look at my schedule. I go, ah, oh, shit, I don't have any time for a workout, which means I'm not going to get that good feeling. And so instead of looking at it like, oh, I've got to go grunt and sweat, I'm thinking I'm not going to feel good. I'm not going to feel relaxed. I'm not going to feel carefree. And I'm not going to feel even appreciative, like my appreciation of things. And it gets enhanced greatly after exercise. I just feel better. I feel like I can take things in for what they are rather than, you know, whatever the, whatever sensory data that I'm getting from any event is just uh, one more distraction that gets in my way. And, and you know, that that's a lot of times how I look at things if I'm overstressed or if I'm working too much. Like our bodies, for whatever reason, uh, most people, their associations are to avoid anything that's uncomfortable. But it's so illogical because when you look at comfort and you look at success and progress and the eventual the feelings of accomplishment and of getting past certain hurdles and in, in terms of like how you feel about life a lot of those are connected to discomfort like discomfort is your friend it really is like discomfort and uh, and not being happy and content with certain situations in life or certain feelings in life they're massive massive motivators and they're they're amazing at at facilitating change and yet our instinct is to avoid those and just sit on the couch and watch some fucking reality show about dudes who make moonshine with our jaw open like it's it's bizarre and for me at least when i get when i get like really disciplined and really um i get really consistent with my workouts one of the things that I feel, I almost feel momentum. I feel like there's like a push behind me. Like, all right, we're, you know, like after I get out of the gym, I have a really good workout. I'm like, yeah, now I'm doing it. I'm doing it all the time now. And I'm looking forward to the next time. And it makes that resistance much weaker. And it makes my motivation and my discipline much stronger. I think a totally. lot of it is based on just the consistency. You know, it's one of the things that I talked about recently on the podcast. I said, you know, like blowing something off. It's not just not good, like blowing off uh, a, an exercise uh, that you planned is not just bad for you physically. It's also bad mentally because then that option is now available. The option to fuck off is available and you did it before and you're probably going to do it again and you'll get mediocre results, not just in that aspect of your life, but maybe in all aspects of your life. Because I think that option to fuck off when you embrace it that is a pathway that you might choose when it comes to dealing with conflict in your personal life dealing with business decisions dealing with uh, career decisions like an uncomfortable decision that you might be uh, faced with where you maybe you need to make a change as far as like what your, your pathway is in life but you don't do it and instead you fuck off and that the inclination to fuck off i think that gathers momentum as well the inclination to be disciplined that comes with momentum too and i think both things like you did you take a path like the path of the healthy person or the path of the fuck off like this is not like your body is like a race car that you can juice up yourself like you can add the fat tires you can add the improved suspension you can beef up the horsepower in the engine you could do all that yourself or you could just choose to have this shitty body that's always falling apart on you because we're essentially ecosystems you know, and we're, we're in charge, this weird consciousness that has all this resistance and has all this inclination towards comfort and fucking off and blowing things off is what is in charge of making all these things happen that keep this ecosystem healthy. It's almost like if Earth itself had like a shitty manager, 
You know, if like there was a manager of a natural manager of Earth that was like, oh, God, who cares if it rains? Oh, God, you know, like, let's let you know, I'm, I'm going to stop growing things. I don't give a shit anymore. It's all stupid anyway. I mean, it's literally like the the just blow it up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's just kill all the life. What, it's all going to die eventually. I mean, the, the sun only lasts seven billion yeah. years. And- you see, that is the perspective a lot of people take with aging where it's yeah. like, well, you're going to die. You're going to age. You can't stop aging. And it's like, yes, you're right. But that's not the point. The point is to age better. Like, that's the point. The point is to increase your health span, you know, and that is we know is possible like that can there's some there's some of these like centenarians and super centenarians I've seen that are like in, you know, over 100 years old and they're like riding bikes and racing. And it's like, yeah, they're old. They are very old. But They're experiencing a very good quality of life. Yeah. And they're experiencing a quality of life that these other people that don't exercise feel they physically feel their own body diminishing. And they just feel it's inevitable. It's just, it is what it is. You're wasting your time. You're out there running around. But no, we're not because this experience right now, it's not like no one's under the illusion that you're going to live forever, but you are enhancing the experience that you're currently involved in right now. And you are alive. Right. You are alive. You do experience this life. But do you experience this life optimally? Is it, is it as enjoyable as it can be? And we all know that there's a spectrum for that enjoyability. Like we've all had times in our life where it's not been so great and then times in our life where everything came together like what a fucking great day woo like make more of those like you can make more of those and then the whole thing's better and i think when that whole thing is better it affects everybody you touch everybody that's around you everybody you come in contact with and that in turn i mean it sounds so grandiose but in in turn can affect the entire race of human beings 